Good morning, everybody. I'm Mr. Charlie, and I'm here to share with you my Sunday school lesson for today. Hope you're all doing well and have had a good weekend. Maybe you've got a little bit rest too. Um, today's lesson is from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 1, 21 through 28. And I'm going to go ahead and read it for you first, and then I've got a couple questions for us to go from here. Um, let's see. I want to make sure that I can share my screen with you. Go to here. So this is Jesus commands an unclean spirit. Here's the story and here are the pictures to go with it. It was worship day in Capernaum. Jesus entered the synagogue and began to teach. Everyone in the crowd listened. Jesus is not like any other teacher we know, they said. A man who was filled with darkness and an unclean spirit began to yell at Jesus. I know who you are, Jesus. What are you doing? Have you come here to destroy us? The crowd gasped. <gasps> no one ever yelled in the synagogue. No one, for one by one, every head turned and looked at Jesus to see what he would do. What would he do? Be silent, Jesus ordered. He commanded the spirit to come out of the man. One by one, every head turned and looked at the man. Then, with a shake and a shout, the spirit came out. The man was set free. The people were amazed. Hooray, they shouted. They, could, they couldn't stop talking about what Jesus had done. Did you see the man? Did you hear Jesus? Even unclean spirits disobey Jesus. News of what happened in the synagogue spread all over town. Soon, everyone knew about Jesus. That looks like a happy guy over there. Look at that, having that spirit taken out. So back up here, is a question in the blue here. It says, who are teachers in your church? So who are the teachers in your church? Who are the ones who, you know, we, we have the, the Sunday school time as we are together, but who else do we have? Um, sorry, I'm gonna close this here. I'm still learning how to do this with Zoom. Pastor Kimberly, you know, she helps lead worship. We have people who lead music. But did you know that everybody, even kids your age, can all be part of that? And you can help by being what? Maybe a reader. Maybe you could be an usher whenever we're allowed to be back in worship again. You could be an acolyte, a crucifer. You could help out if when you get a little bit older, you can help out in the nursery someday. Any of those different things. All those are great ideas. So if you get a chance, talk to your mommies and daddies. If you got a brother and sister there, ask that question. How could you be a leader in the church? And talk about how, what you think is good in a leader, what is a good quality? Are they a person who speaks up? Are they a person who leads by example? There's a lot of different options there. So with that, um, Miss Amanda gave me an idea. So I'm just gonna give you, share with you a fun, completely random song that we know uh, from when we worked at camp a long time ago. 
uh, just for something fun. I don't have any sweet examples of uh, the craft or anything like that. But um, here's a fun little uh, song that I'm going to teach you on this. And it's called At a Time Like This. And you'll notice as we start, it's going to have different motions. So I'm going to say, at a time like this, and we start out by clapping twice. At a time like this, at a time like this, oh, I need the Lord to help me. And then we add in new activity. So we'll go clap, clap, snap, snap. I'm not a very good snapper, but you can go ahead and try. So let's try to do it together. At a time like this, at a time like this, at a time like this, and we only do it once here, clap, snap. Oh, I need the Lord to help me. Then we go on to the next one. Clap, clap, snap, snap, nay, nay, nay. At a time like this, clap, clap, snap, snap, nay, nay, nay. At a time like this, clap, clap, snap, snap, nay, nay, nay. At a time like this, clap, snap. Oh, I need the Lord to help me. We'll do one more. Clap, clap, snap, snap. Nainer, nainer, whoop, whoop. At a time like this. Clap, clap, snap, snap. Nainer, nainer, whoop, whoop. At a time like this. Clap, clap, snap, snap. Nainer, nainer, whoop, whoop. At a time like this. Clap, snap, nainer, whoop. Oh, I need the Lord to help me. And that's a song that can help us remember that no matter where we are in a week, um, night, evening, morning, day, whatever, God is always there to be with us. And when we feel overwhelmed, when we feel lonely, when we feel tired, when we feel happy, excited, whatever it is, God is always there with us, no matter um, what our day is like. So let us pray. Dear God, thank you for the day. Thank you for this opportunity to gather to remember that you are with us no matter what. And you have given us special gifts, things that we can be passionate about. Help us to bring those to light as leaders in our community, in our church, school, wherever it may be. In Jesus' name, amen. I hope that you all have a wonderful rest of your uh, new week, and uh, have a great day. Bye.